Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, Today, we commemorate St. John of the Cross, the mystical doctor of the Church, who teaches us the way of purification so that we could achieve love and union with the Holy Trinity. And so, to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for his pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gave the priest St. John an outstanding dedication to perfect self-denial and love of the cross, Grant that by imitating him closely at all times, we may come to contemplate eternally your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Thus says the Lord, Woe to the city, rebellious and polluted, to the tyrannical city. She hears no voice, accepts no correction. In the Lord, she has not trusted. To her God, she has not drawn near. For then I will change and purify the lips of the peoples, that they all may call upon the name of the Lord to serve Him with one accord. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia and as far as the recesses of the north, they shall bring me offerings. On that day, you need not be ashamed of all your deeds, your rebellious actions against me. For then will I remove from your midst the proud proggards, and you shall no longer exalt yourself on my holy mountain. But I will leave as a remnant in your midst, a people humble and lowly, who shall take refuge in the name of the Lord, the remnant of Israel. They shall do no wrong and speak no lies, nor shall there be found in their mouths a deceitful tongue. They shall pasture and couch their flocks with none to disturb them. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. With the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who crossed in spirit he saves. The Lord redeems the lives of his servants. No one incurs guilt who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Please stand. Come, O Lord, do not delay. Forgive the sins of your people. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, What is your opinion? 
A man had two sons. He came to the first and said, Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. The son said in reply, I will not. But afterwards, he changed his mind and went. The man came to the other son and gave the same order. He said in reply, Yes, sir, but did not go. Which of the two did his father's will? They answered, The first. Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. When John came to you in the way of righteousness, you did not believe him, but tax collectors and prostitutes did. Yet even when you saw that, you did not later change your minds and believe him. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, today we are reminded that Advent is a time for purification. Advent is a way of cleansing ourselves in preparation for the celebration of Christmas. What is purification? What is cleansing? This is a way, my dear brothers and sisters, of detachment of purifying ourselves of anything, any attachments that can make us far from union with God. Ang panahon po ng Adyento ay para matuto tayo alisin Alisin anuman ang mga bagay na nakadikit sa atin, attachments, at nagpapalayo naman sa atin sa Panginoon. Yan ang panahon ng Adviento. And today, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate a saint, Saint John of the Cross, who is a saint of purification. Itinuro niya sa atin, paano nga ba natin aalisin ang mga attachments? What is the key so that we could purify ourselves and remove, renounce these attachments so that we can be enabled to love God more? For St. John of the Cross, the key to purification is always going back to our love for God, our relationship of love for God. For St. John of the Cross, loving God is focusing not only on the things that he renounced, but it is focusing on the person whom he chose. Ang pagmamahal para kay San Juan de la Cruz, Saint John of the Cross, ay ang pagpili Pagtingin, hindi sa mga bagay na iniwan mo, kundi doon sa tao, doon sa minamahal mo. Yun ang mas mahalaga. Kaya, kaya niyang iwan lahat sapagkat ang pinakamahalaga 
ay yung kanyang piniling mahalin at walang iba kundi ang Diyos. We will see this also in our two readings for today. In the first reading today from the book of the prophet Zephaniah, the Lord God promises that He will purify and cleanse the people of Israel. But what is the foundation of this cleansing and purification? The Lord God said, so that my people Israel can return to me, can become again my people, lovingly following their God. Ang susi, ang pundasyon ng paglilinis sa Israel ay ang pagmamahal ng Diyos para sa kanila. And in our gospel reading today, from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, Jesus teaches His disciples the parable of the father and the two sons. One son who committed to follow but did not follow. The other son whom at first did not commit but later on changed his mind and truly followed his father. In the Gospel reading, the focus is not only on following God but also on the relationship between the father and the son. Jesus said, if sinners, tax collectors, and prostitutes can change their mind, purify themselves, and follow God, how much more the son to their father. In order for us to purify and cleanse ourselves, let us return to our loving relationship with the Father. That is the key in renouncing any attachments that we have to follow and love our Lord. Ang naaalala ko pong palaging halimbawa sa ganito ay ang mga magulang tatay man o nanay na handang i-renounce at iwan lahat ng mga attachments nila para sa kanilang pamilya. Ilang tatay na ba ang narinig ko na nagsabi na, Father, handa akong iwan ang aking bisyo. Iiwan ko ang alak, ang sigarilyo, ang sugal, ang pambababae, iiwan ko yan, masakit man, mahirap man iwan lahat ng yan dahil na-attach na ako sa mga yan. Pero hindi naman yan talaga ang titingnan ko. Ang titingnan ko ay ang aking pamilya na minamahal ko. At kapag minamahal mo ang isang tao, hindi mo iindahin na iwan lahat yan para sa iyong minamahal. My dear brothers and sisters, if we want to live Advent as a way of purifying and cleansing ourselves, renouncing all of these attachments, let us go back to the God whom we chose, to the persons whom we love. Let us remember the teaching of St. John of the Cross today, that the way of purification is the way of love. Amen. Please then.
it is often that we do not clearly understand God's plan for us. Let us ask God the Father that we may know His will and fulfill them. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the Holy Father and the bishops of the Church may have the courage and strength to respond generously in guiding the people, in guiding the faithful under their care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That as a community, we may base our lives on the mercy and compassion of Christ and not on pretentious attitude. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That in our own lives, we may be honest and sincere and respond to the will of God with unquestioning obedience. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the brokenhearted may experience the love and compassion of Christ in those who take care of them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may experience everlasting joy in God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, pour out your grace upon us. Help us to carry out the promises we make with a sincere heart. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look upon the sacrificial gifts we offer, Almighty God, in commemoration of St. John of the Cross. And grant that we, who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's Passion, may imitate what we now enact. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. 
For as on the festival of St. John of the Cross, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of His holy life. Teach her by His words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to His prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please then. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint John of the Cross, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him O God Almighty Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever Amen at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our, our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name thy, thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us now offer each other the sign of peace lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us peace please kneel behold the lamb of god behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb lord, lord i am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed brothers and sisters the body of christ amen act of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen
Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who in St. John have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.